Artistic endeavors and aesthetics have always held a special place in human culture, offering us a way to express ourselves and engage with the world on a deeper level. But what if art had the power to do more than just entertain and inspire? In Your Brain on Art, Susan Magzaman and Ivy Ross present remarkable insights into how art can rewire our brains and improve our lives in profound ways. Susan Magzaman, an assistant professor of neurology at Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine, brings her expertise in neuroscience to the exploration of art's impact on the brain. As the founder and executive director of the International Arts Plus Mind Lab at the Center for Applied Neuroaesthetics, she has dedicated her work to understanding the intersection of art and neuroscience. Ivy Ross, on the other hand, brings a unique perspective as the Vice President of Design for Google's Hardware Product Division and a renowned artist with an illustrious career in the industry. Her art and design work, recognized with numerous awards and accolades, have captivated audiences and sparked creativity around the world. While most of us may be familiar with the concept of art therapy, your brain on art goes beyond the notion of troubled individuals finding solace in artistic expression. Drawing upon a wealth of evidence from clinical trials and peer-reviewed studies, Magzaman and Ross delve into a range of practices that aim to benefit our overall mental health and well-being. Every moment of our lives, our senses and brains are continuously processing the world around us. In this book summary, you'll discover how the everyday use of art can have a profound impact, rewiring our brains and enriching every aspect of our existence. From music and dance to drawing and interior design, the authors explore the transformative power of various art forms and the therapeutic benefits they offer. Prepare to embark on a journey that combines cutting-edge neuroscience, artistic expression, and the pursuit of a healthier mind. Through Your Brain on Art, Magzaman and Ross invite you to unlock the potential of art as a catalyst for positive change in your life. Get ready to discover the incredible ways art can reshape your brain and open up new possibilities for personal growth and well-being. Idea 1. The Power of Aesthetic Mindset, Processing Art on a Physiological Level Before we can fully explore the therapeutic benefits of art, it is essential to address two fundamental questions. What is art, and how do we process it on a physiological level? While the definition of art has been debated for centuries, for the purpose of this book, we will embrace a broad interpretation. Drawing inspiration from the words of Irish poet John O'Donohue, who described art as the essence of awareness, we will cast a wide net in our exploration. Art, in its essence, permeates our surroundings. It can be found in the intricate patterns of a rug, the graceful shape of potted plants, or the thoughtfully designed furniture in our homes. Susan Magzaman and Ivy Ross refer to this awareness as having an aesthetic mindset. If you possess a strong aesthetic mindset, you may be the type of person who frequents art galleries, is deeply moved by music, and appreciates the impact of interior design. However, whether we are consciously aware of it or not, aesthetics constantly affect us. The color of our walls, the lighting, and the soundscape of our environment all have an influence on our well-being. Having an aesthetic mindset means recognizing this relationship and being ready to harness its potential. This leads us to the second question. How does art physiologically affect us? As human beings, we continuously process our surroundings through our senses. What we see, hear, smell, and touch, the aesthetics of our environment, are constantly being absorbed and processed on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. Each element has the potential to shape our emotions and physical state. Colors, sounds, and smells can increase or decrease our blood pressure, trigger the release of stress hormones, or evoke feelings of calmness and security. Much of this processing occurs on a subconscious level. Neuroscience reveals that only a small portion, approximately 5%, of our mental activity is conscious, while the majority takes place beneath our awareness. Our senses gather information, and our emotions respond, often without conscious thought. However, by cultivating an aesthetic mindset and increasing our awareness, we can begin to harness this subconscious processing and utilize art to affect lasting changes in our lives and overall well-being. In the chapters ahead, we will delve into the myriad ways that various art forms and practices can rewire our brains, transform our emotions, and enhance our mental health.
By embracing art as a powerful tool for self-discovery and growth, we can tap into the profound potential it holds to enrich every aspect of our lives. Get ready to embark on a journey of self-exploration, as we uncover the transformative power of art and delve into the science behind its therapeutic benefits. By embracing an aesthetic mindset and understanding the physiological impact of art, we open ourselves up to a world of possibilities for personal growth and well-being. Idea 2. The Therapeutic Power of Art, Beyond Artistic Talent There's a chance that you may have developed a conflicted relationship with art, perhaps due to early judgments about your artistic talent. But here's the key takeaway. You don't have to be an artistic genius to experience the rewards of art. Engaging in creative activities, whether it's drawing with a pencil and paper or sculpting with clay, holds intrinsic value. A study conducted at Drexel University revealed that spending just 45 minutes making art can lower levels of the stress hormone cortisol, irrespective of artistic skill or expertise. Creating art has a calming effect on a physiological level. Yet, this is merely scratching the surface. In the past few decades, thousands of studies have focused on art therapy, yielding compelling results. Making art in a judgment-free environment not only enhances your psychological state but also improves immune functions and cardiovascular reactivity. Surprisingly, even experiencing art without actively creating it can have profound benefits. A 2020 study at University College London found that individuals who attended cultural events at least once a year reported lower mental distress and an improved quality of life, regardless of their socioeconomic status. Humans are capable of experiencing over 30,000 distinct emotions, yet we often find ourselves stuck in certain emotional patterns that can be debilitating, leading to anxiety, stress, or depression. Art possesses the unique power to alter our emotions due to the interconnected neural pathways involved in sensory perception. Consider the way a song from your high school days can evoke a flood of memories and emotions within seconds. Similarly, Scents and tastes can transport us back to vivid childhood memories. Sound therapy, used in conjunction with talk therapy, has been proven to reduce stress and aid emotional well-being. Art's ability to redirect thoughts is invaluable. The mandala, an ancient circular pattern containing sacred geometry, has been used as a supplement to meditative practices by Tibetan cultures. Carl Jung, a renowned psychologist, discovered that filling in the geometry within the mandala helped individuals navigate their complex emotional lives and reach a unifying center. Recent studies support Young's theories, demonstrating that patients who worked with mandalas experienced significantly lower anxiety levels compared to those engaged in free drawing on a blank piece of paper. The intricate focus and complexity of the mandala facilitated the soothing and redirection of thoughts away from anxiety, an essential aspect of improving mental health. The act of creating art has been linked to the production of serotonin and endorphins, leading to a happier, more emotionally open state of mind. This emotional openness is crucial when addressing post-traumatic stress disorder PTSD, a condition in which a traumatic event remains unresolved within our bodies and minds. Art practices, such as drama therapy, dance therapy, painting, and sculpting, have shown promising results in alleviating PTSD and toxic stress. These techniques provide individuals with a means to explore and express their inner feelings, an essential step toward healing. Drawing, for instance, has been found to result in an over 80% reduction in PTSD symptoms according to a peer-reviewed study. In the following sections, we will delve into the broader range of physically therapeutic benefits that art offers, expanding our understanding of how art can profoundly impact our overall well-being. Idea 3. The Physiological and Biological Impact of Art, Rewiring the Brain Sensory experiences and their effects on the body go beyond mere mental stimulation. It is crucial to recognize that the process is not purely cognitive. It is also physical and biological, influencing the structure and functions of our cells. This means that our response to art is both physiological and biological. One remarkable aspect to consider is neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to rewire neural networks and alter its functioning. While this process doesn't occur overnight, it does happen when we change our environment or adopt new habits, such as incorporating an art practice into our daily routines. 
This understanding explains why an increasing number of people are now prescribed art as both a healing measure and a preventive measure. Hospitals are also recognizing the benefits of the aesthetic mindset. When designing rehabilitation settings, many hospitals consider factors like the color of paint and other interior design elements. Aromatherapy is employed to alleviate nausea, and video games are used as a common tool in the treatment of stroke patients. It is becoming increasingly common to see art practitioners collaborating with clinical staff to develop comprehensive care plans in hospitals. The term palliative aesthetics has emerged, focusing on pain management techniques that incorporate art and aesthetics. Dr. B.J. Miller, an internal medicine doctor who himself experienced a life-altering accident resulting in the loss of both legs and one arm, acknowledges that chronic pain is often accompanied by various symptoms, including fatigue, nausea, depression, and insomnia. Miller has discovered the value of art and aesthetics, including music therapy, in enhancing mood and effectively managing these symptoms in the long term. He encourages his patients to develop an aesthetic mindset, being aware of moments in the day when they feel better and investigating the factors that contribute to the improvement. This could involve identifying environmental elements such as sounds, smells, textures, or colors and even capturing them with a photograph to aid memory. Music and dance therapy are also being employed in the treatment of Parkinson's disease, a neurodegenerative condition that leads to physical challenges such as tremors, imbalance, and reduced coordination. Recent scientific advancements have shed light on the impact of dance on the human brain. A three-year study published in 2021 demonstrated that dance not only improved the mood and quality of life in Parkinson's patients but also increased blood flow to the basal ganglia, the region responsible for coordination and smooth muscle control. Through dance therapy, symptoms of the disease were reduced, and various motor control functions, such as walking and facial expressions, improved. In the final section, we will conclude by exploring the broader rewards of art that can benefit anyone regardless of specific medical conditions or circumstances. Idea 4. Cultivating a flourishing life through art and the aesthetic mindset. Kurt Vonnegut Jr., the renowned writer, once shared a powerful secret with a class of high school students about living a successful life. It had nothing to do with traditional markers of success like ambition or determination. Instead, he encouraged them to practice art in any form, poetry, music, painting, sculpting, emphasizing that it wasn't about fame or money. The essence was in creating something that would aid in understanding oneself and allow the soul to grow. Many of us have experienced an education system that prioritizes memorization and standardized testing, often overlooking the benefits of playful artistic exploration. However, researchers are increasingly recognizing that engaging in art can result in healthier and more flourishing minds. In their exploration of art and the aesthetic mindset, Magzaman and Ross have identified several ways in which these practices can contribute to a flourishing life. These include cultivating curiosity, creating enriched environments, and striking a balance between ritualized practice and embracing new and surprising experiences. Psychologist Todd Cashton encapsulates the concept by emphasizing that a rich and meaningful life involves choosing curiosity and embracing the unknown rather than avoiding it. Engaging with art, approaching it with curiosity and without judgment, becomes a pathway to deepening empathy, becoming comfortable with ambiguity and uncertainty, and managing the anxieties that arise from these aspects of life. Imagine a day in the life of an aesthetic mindset. You wake up and step into a kitchen illuminated by blue-white bulbs, simulating sunlight and activating your circadian rhythms. Taking a moment to savor the tastes and aromas of your favorite coffee or tea, you recognize the importance of daily art practice alongside your exercise and meditation routines. Engaging in art without expectations or judgment allows for self-bonding and support of your well-being, whether it's a brief half-hour of doodling or several hours devoted to sculpting on weekends. Later, you immerse yourself in nature, appreciating its sights, sounds, smells, and rhythms. You marvel at its intricate designs, carrying nature's inspiration with you into the workplace. In your professional life, you prioritize communication, collaboration, and creative problem-solving over sheer efficiency and productivity, integrating the values nurtured through art. After work, you seek out communal artistic experiences with friends, 
such as attending live music performances or theater shows. You value your social circle, embracing the exchange of ideas and gaining empathy as you open yourself up to new perspectives. While each day may not unfold exactly like this ideal scenario, striving for it can guide your path. By creating an aesthetic environment that supports your well-being, fosters continued learning and growth, and allows you to live a successful life, you cultivate a flourishing existence. Summary. By embracing an aesthetic perspective, you can enjoy the numerous advantages that art provides. Adopting an aesthetic mindset involves recognizing your ongoing interaction with the surroundings and how you process sensory encounters. Extensive research demonstrates that various forms of art, such as music, colors, drawing, painting, dancing, and sculpting, have the ability to alleviate stress, anxiety, pain, and trauma, while also enhancing longevity and overall well-being. By incorporating more art into your daily life and cultivating an aesthetically pleasing environment, you can lead a healthier and more satisfying existence. Now, thank you for taking the time to watch, and if you found value in this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel, and in case you want to buy the book, use the link in the description, trust me, you won't regret it.